starting off, we actually have a couple different things. We have Biden going to the border. We have Trump also going to the border the same exact day. We have a fire in Texas. We have Mitch McConnell stepping down. We have Hunter Biden and his excuses in the court of law. And we have LA being a crime ridden city. All of that and more on today's episode. Facts over facts over tracks. This and that spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. Um, I ran out of coffee, so if I look like this, you guys know why. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna try to power through the show with no coffee. I have coffee every single day. Um, right after the show, I'm gonna go to the store and get some coffee because I cannot do the day like this. Moving into the first article that we have, we actually have Biden going to the border. So now we're, we're going to compare the two things. We're going to compare Joe Biden going to the border. We're going to compare pre former President Donald Trump going to the border. Let's see the difference here. Starting off with him, anyway, just like amazing. not even knowing what he's doing. This Thank is the thing right here from Raw Sorry, Alert it's time for um, and, uh, our briefers are or Raw's Alert. And then he we'll just looks confused. Great job. Thank you. Uh, he has the media personnel trying to tell the media to leave, like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's, it's good to go now. And then he just looks, he just looks so confused. Yeah, and, and everybody looks more in charge than him. This is actually in Texas. I just feel bad for all of the people that have to deal with him because he just looks so confused. He doesn't even know what he's doing. So, um, what did he actually do there? That's what I would like to know because he didn't meet with the governor because that's what Trump did. So, um, the White House unveiled a new term. This is according to the Daily Wire. The White House unveiled a new term on Thursday for the millions of illegal Im immigrants who have flooded into the United States under President Joe Biden, which came shortly before Biden took a trip to the border for a photo op um, at, the, at a spot that he had a few alien, illegal aliens cross. The administration published a set of Democrat talking points that they labeled as a, quote, fact sheet. The document highlighted the proposal that the Democrat Senate introduced earlier in the year that critics and many experts say that would um, uh, actually make the situation on the border worse. Toward the bottom of the document, the administration referred to millions of illegal immigrants who entered under Biden as newcomers. The bill also includes $1.4 billion for cities and states who provided critical services to newcomers and would expedite work permits for people who work in the country and qualify, the document said. That's just disgusting. That's not a newcomer. That's an illegal immigrant, and they need to leave the country since they came illegally. Um, the, White, the Biden White House is now referring to illegal immigrants as newcomers. The White House GOP conference posted on X. Joe Biden is not serious about stopping the illegal immigration into the United States. This is a catastrophe, but by design. House of Representative member Andrew Clyde, Republican from Georgia, responded to the document insanity. A newcomer just brutally murdered Lakin Riley last week. Newcomers are flooded into our country with fentanyl. These, quote, newcomers are costing American taxpayers nearly $500 billion. Joe Biden wants to normalize the, his intentional illegal invasion. It is not on Republicans to concede and make something in the House of Representatives or in Congress to pass a law. This is not about that. This is what I actually found yesterday, that Joe Biden signed a plethora of executive orders on his first couple of days in office. Now, all of these people are saying, oh, well, Joe Biden did the best that he could possibly do. No, on day one of his administration, the border wall was immediately defunded. Emergency declaration with, was withdrawn. Deportation of illegal immigrants were paused. Remain in Mexico was terminated. The policy in general was terminated. And they're not going to let you gas. They're not going to they're not going to tell you the truth. They're just going to gaslight you on this um, situation. None of this was a mistake. And that is from end wokeness on X. It's completely true. So they're going to sit there and, and whisper sweet little nothings to your face. But then they're not going to expect that you actually know that you actually know the facts here. It just doesn't make much sense. The dystopian answers and the dystopian solution that Joe Biden gave us and compare that to Trump. So Trump unveils a new nickname for Gaz Gavin Newsom. Now, he's really good at making nicknames. Let's see what Trump calls them. On Thursday, former President Donald Trump shared a new monker for Ca California Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom, a top campaign surrogate for President Joe Biden, who is widely seen as potential White House contender in the future. This wipe at Newsom happened as Trump delivered remarks during a visit in the United States-Mexico border in Eagle Pass in Texas. 
While speaking on the topic of illegal immigration, a hot-button issue in the run-up to November's election, you look at what Governor Newscum, Newscum, get it? <laughs> Newscum, it's funny. I, I actually think it's funny. I mean, I'm not going, I'm <laughs> I'm not reacting how I did the original time as hearing it, but let's hear him in his own words. Then we weren't promising free education, free medical, free everything. I mean, all the promises that are made, no wonder they come. I mean, uh, you look at what this governor, Newscum from mm. California, isn't that his name, Newscum? Newscum. Uh, what he's done to California is unbelievable. People are poor. I completely agree. I completely agree. Governor Newscum, yeah. Listen, that's that's the that's the thing right here. Trump is just so good at making up nicknames for people and he's so good at just just saying things on the fly. Joe Biden could never. Joe Biden has to look at it and then say, hmm, should we do this? And then look at the marketing of it. Trump just says, new scum, new scum. <laughs> it's just it's just relieving. It's just refreshing to see. I love it. This is exactly why I love Trump so much. Because of his nicknames, but not just that, obviously, but also so many other things. So, um, Trump visited Eagle Pass, the epidemic of the standoff between Texas and the Biden administration over how to deal with migrants' illegal crossings as border. As Biden paid a visit to the border in uh, Brownsville, Texas, it remains to be seen if the nickname for Newsome, New Scum, sticks. But Trump has a victory of brownstoning upon his political opponents mocking their names, dating back to the 2016 Republican nomination contest. During his CPAC, oh my God, I can't speak. During his CPAC speech last weekend, Trump called the president "crooked Joe Biden," repurposing a label that he used against Hillary Clinton. He also took a shot of Newsom, Newscum, during the same address. I, a lot of people think Gavin Newscum is going to run in a certain way. I hope so, Trump said. I hope so because he's destroyed California. Um, Newsom spoke critically of Trump during an interview on NBC's Meet the Press, which aired on Sunday, as he rejected the notion that Democrats are understanding the former president and the 2024 president. I mean, under underestimating the former president in the 2024 election. I think his weakness mis masquerading as strength. I think he's more unhinged. Unhinged. He's more. He's less interesting than he w was even a few years ago. Okay, if he's less interesting, then why is there nonstop articles about him 24-7? I think, Newscom, you're the uninteresting one. Um, yeah, I mean, speaking about Texas, I mean, there's so many things happening in Texas. Obviously, there's a border, but then there's a fire in Texas, too, which actually burnt down 1 million acres, the largest in state history. And um, according to the Daily Wire article, losses could be catastrophic, would be... Um, Catastrophic. One of the several wildfires raging in Texas panhandle has grown to become one of the largest in state history. The Smokehouse Creek fire has been burning since Monday and emergency crews have made little progress in containing it. It has so far torched 1 million acres of land in Texas and most of the wildfire in history of the state in what 31.5 um, 31,500 acres in Oklahoma, according to CNN. The Smokehouse Creek Fire is just one of several who have ripped through Texas's um, cattle country this week. Two people have died so far in the fires. Ranchers have lost thousands of livestock, with many more likely to be euthanized. Many homes and other buildings have been lost to the flames as well. The owners of the historic Turkey Track Ranch in Texas estimate that the loss has been about 80% of its land. The loss of livestock crops, wildlife, as well as ranch fencing and other infrastructure throughout our property, as well as our other ranches and home across the region, we believe unparalleled in history, the ranch said in a statement. The Panhandle is home to roughly 85% of Texans' um, cattle herds, supporting over 10 million head of livestock. State Agriculture Command Commissioner Sid Miller told the New York Times, me, most the, of the cattle kept in the woodlocks and dairy farms have been largely unaffected by the wildfires, Miller said. There are millions of cattle out there, with some towns comp comprising more cattle than people, Miller told the Wall Street Journal. The losses could be a catastrophic for those counties. Farmers and ranchers are losing everything. 
Videos of Texas wildfires have surfaced on social media. The footage shows miles and miles of land covered in flames and dark smoke. As one as of Thursday afternoon, fire officials said that the smokehouse fire was just 3% contained. That's just crazy. Here's some of the videos here. Yeah, this is just crazy here. You imagine just being on the highway. You don't even know if the highway keeps going straight because you can't even see in front of you. I mean, obviously, this is an emergency personnel, so all you, all you can do is um, just keep driving straight and you can look at the GPS, but how do you know that the GPS is still there? I mean, how do you know if the road is still there, if the GPS is saying it? It's just a crazy thing here. And here's another video here. Yeah, this is just crazy. There's really nothing that they could do, too. Yep, so that's video from the New York Times, and this is from, I can see everything on fire. This is just, I mean, everything's just going to burn. Everything's going to burn. And it's just crazy that this happens in the middle of summer. You would expect this to happen during the during the summer because it's more dry during the summer. But I guess not. And then um, you can see the cattle fleeing from the smoke. Yeah, so the cattle are just running away because they don't want to get burned to death. But, I mean, if they're in, held in captivity, then there's really nothing that they could possibly do. Yeah, some of these photos and some of these videos are just crazy. Everybody's saying that it's like the Maui, the Maui fires that like what happened in um, Hawaii a few months ago. I don't think that this is like that whatsoever because the government in Maui actually failed us, the people, because they had alarm systems to alert people, but they didn't use the alarm systems for some reason. It didn't make a lot of sense in Maui. But in Texas, they are alerting people. They're telling everybody to leave. Um, it's just crazy that this is happening kind of the same day as Trump and Joe Biden going down. Joe Biden's not saying much. What is he saying? He's just saying, oh, we need to pass the border bill and blah, 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 blah. Listen, shut up. The border bill is not going to help anything. We already discussed that you actually signed in executive orders that actually resulted in this catastrophe. So if you signed executive orders to cause it, then you can sign the executive orders to stop it. Thank you very much. So moving into the next article, we actually have Mitch McConnell is actually retiring, not retiring, but stepping down from um, the majority leader. He is no longer going to be in that seat. He's been doing it for since I would say the creation of the universe. Before we actually get into Mitch McConnell stepping down, I do want to tell you about shop.originalstudios.com. If you do like all of the reporting I do here on Original Studios and actually like all the reporting that I do here on the channel, support shop.originalstudios.com so I can actually have the funding to continue this and to continue to get better over time. If you do want to check it out, you can use code Dimitri for 15% off. Of course, free shipping all throughout America. Um, so he's been doing it for a really long time. I would say like 500 years or so, 600 years. Um, so you can tell that he is starting to look like a turtle. I think that he should just step down altogether. Um, but how do you split the fact that he's older and Trump's older and Joe Biden's older? Well, I think that we should get younger and younger candidates. But at the same exact time, since we have a problem with people just being stupid, then I think that we should just go older and older. So I think that we should get a 100-year-old man that's just running around all fit. I think that should be our next president because that person is actually going to be doing things because he's actually a fit person. A fit 100-year-old, that would be great in the office. Moving into the next article, we actually have Hunter Biden and his, and his um, excuses I mean, obviously, we've all heard the phone call of Hunter Biden on the phone saying that he's sitting here with his father. Um, the excuse that he's making. So I guess they're saying that per per source with direct knowledge, Hunter Biden said today that he was high or drunk when he sent that um, sitting with my father text on WhatsApp. And he sent it to the wrong recipient and is embarrassed by the message. He confirmed that his dad was not indeed sitting next to him. But it really doesn't matter if his dad was sitting next to him or was not sitting next to him. He still used him as an excuse. And there's no grammatical um, errors at all. So he was not high or drunk. So that excuse does not line up whatsoever. Um, I mean, obviously, he can claim whatever he wants, but it does not mean that it's true. Um, but then at the same exact time, they sent him $5 million a few days later. That's a luck. That's a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> I, I highly doubt that that's a coincidence because he sent it to the right person. So stop fooling yourself. 
because you're not fooling us, the people. Um, moving into the next thing, we actually have Los Angeles hiring um, foreign criminals, um, hires and arms foreign criminals to police United States citizens. Now, illegal um, president, uh, present foreigners who don't have the constitutional right to bear arms can arrest and even disarm a United States citizen who does. The Los Angeles Police Department is hiring illegal border crosses with deferred action for childhood arrival status, encrypting them with guns to police American citizens in California. President Barack Obama in 2012 order indefinitely delays the de deportation of illegal border crossers who enter into the United States claiming to be minors, free separants, and start becoming United States citizens unless they apply for a green card. Um, uh, free separants who do not start becoming United States citizens unless they apply for the green card. Um, that's why many seek endless DACA renewals that allow them to continue working and living in the United States while still born citizens and admitted border lawbreakers. Until recently, California allowed United States citizens to lawfully um, permit residents in the process of obtaining citizenship to serve as law enforcement. In 2022, the Democrat legislator passed a law authorizing any of the hundreds of thousands of illegal border crossers, including DACA recipients, who obtain work authorization to join police forces across the state. While some cities like Santa Monica, um, Santa Monica, Scar Scardamonto, refused to hire illegal border crossers due to concerns about gun law violations, LAPD handed jobs and firearms to nearly a dozen DACA aliens. Captain Robin Patan Patello told Cal Matters, these illegal border crossers will possess department-issued firearms in, in off-duty. The department also plans to give jobs to illegally present foreigners who are currently in police training. Yeah, this is just disgusting. So then if you live in a Democrat city, you need to wait months and months and months, like a half a year to get your to get your license to carry, to get your firearms identification card, because you can't just have your Second Amendment in these states, Massachusetts, California, states like that. You can't have an open carry. You can't have um, your right to remain in and bear arms until you have that actual license. But then we have illegal immigrants coming over here and within a couple of weeks being able to obtain a gun. They have more rights in America, and that's sad. With that being said, we're going to end off this episode here because I'm going to get some more coffee. As you can tell, I need my coffee. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for enjoying, and I hope they have a great rest of your day.